On February 20th, 2014, members of the Sherlock Holmes Pipe Club of Boston celebrated International Pipe Smoking Day with a visit to the Old Firehouse Tobacco Shop in Fall River, Massachusetts. We found it to be a great little shop filled with hospitality and with plenty to keep the pipe and cigar smoker happy. The Old Firehouse has been in business for 14 years and is located in a building with a lot of history. After serving as a fire station in the early 19th century, the building went on to be a meeting place for Union Army veterans of the Civil War. But this quaint little New England shop not only sells everything for your smoking needs, it also sells a way of life. Let's go in and give you the quick tour. This is a very well-maintained shop with a nice variety of pipes and accessories to choose from, including Caminetto, Hardcastle, Stanwell, Peterson, and more. They also have a decent selection of tin tobaccos and three dozen bulk blends available as well, all of which came with a generous International Pipe Smoking Day disco. Our cigar smoking friends will appreciate their large walk-in humidor with plenty of the top name brands to choose from and in all kinds of shapes and sizes. So here we are at um, Old Firehouse Tobacco Shop in Fall River, Mass. Um, I'm here with John. Uh, oh, guys. Steve. The owner and proprietor here of, uh, of the tobacco shop. How long have you guys been around? We've been here since uh, 1995. 1995. That's great. I've been a lot of things have changed in that amount of time. Definitely a lot of things have changed. Uh, what would you say the biggest trends are? The biggest trends right now, believe it or not, pipes smoking has taken off. I think it's uh, got a new life. Uh, I don't know if it's due to the increase in cigar tax, but people are smoking pipe tobacco like crazy now and uh, enjoying it, I think, a little bit better because you get the different blends when you go to a pipe tobacco. I mean, cigars are great, uh, don't get me wrong, it's our mainstay, but in pipe tobacco, the blends are so so different from aromatics to the full English. That's great. Well, it looks like you have a nice supply of pipes here. Yeah. Um, you have a very good selection. You have a great place to, to, for the pipe smokers to come and hang out. Um, well, we really we appreciate you having us here. Uh, it's our first time, I think, for all of us, and uh, I, I appreciate you letting us come down and spend oh. the International Pipe Smoking Day. Thanks for coming down here. We, uh, it's your first time down here. We do have a smokers forum meet here uh, every uh, quarter. So, uh, you know, it's been a home for pipe smokers, so we hope it continues. Well, we hope you're, you're always get, welcome. We can get back down here hopefully sometime soon. Thanks again. Thanks. And we couldn't help but notice the shop was adorned with a number of Sherlock Holmes references which made us feel even more at home. But what I think we appreciated the most was to be able to enjoy all of our new purchases while chatting with old friends on making some new ones in the shop's comfortable smoking lounge. And when you think about it, that's what pipe smoking is all about anyway, isn't it? And speaking of making new friends, we were happy to meet up with Tony, who is a member of the online smokers forum, and William, a retired Navy man who not only smokes a pipe, he plays the pipes too, and helped put a little of the international into International Pipe Smoking Day for us. William chatted with us a little bit about the history of the bagpipes before treating us and the local traffic to a rendition of Oh Danny Boy. And the Scots eventually added the, the final tenor drone so that they have the feature that we know today. Uh -huh. The shop's website said it perfectly. There was a time when living was an art, when things moved more slowly, when people sat on their front porches well past sunset, when dinner ended with a cigar and a day's work ended with a pipe of tobacco. Those days live again every time you walk into the old firehouse. And as much as we'd like times like these to last forever, we know they wouldn't be as special if they did. So we tapped out our bowls and said our goodbyes before making our way back to the present. We'd like to thank John for his friendship and hospitality and for making our visit to the old firehouse a memorable one.
so much. I think it was wonderful. I had a great time. We had a blast. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Sit, Ubu, sit.